I hope you are having a beautiful day today. Uh, I don't know, look around. We have a lovely sun out. Um, that's just uh, about my day. Well, um, I'm having a few days, really emotional, uh, very overwhelmed, and um, I'm very sad days um, I don't know why but I, what I don't understand is I was doing very well last week and suddenly I go back to the to that mindset if you will um, where I feel absolutely just I don't know, it's really hard to explain. However, I came out for a walk, even though I wanted to just go, in, go to bed. I really didn't want to do anything. I just finished work. This week I'm going to be on holiday. And and uh, I, I had so much plan, but yesterday I fell asleep before 6 p.m. Um, I, I don't do that. and. And I still did it, and it made me feel like uh, probably my body needed it. Uh, so I don't want to be angry at myself for sleep because it's important. And and I, I promised myself I'm gonna come out anyways. It's beautiful out here, so it's probably gonna rain the rest of the week. So. I want to take advantage of the sun and I was just walking here there's a little like park and foresty area near to my home which I'm very grateful for and I was walking here earlier and I I think when I come out for to for a walk it helps me put my mind um, back to uh, a, a nicer state and I was walking here and I'm pretty sure you, you, you already like again a metaphor but I, I was thinking about something walking here um, between the woods and look at the path it's very muddy right it's like really muddy and the only place I can actually walk is on the side there or between the woods uh, it's very hot either way so I figured out something um, what I actually realized that I chose a path which is um, which is the self-love journey I am on now and last week was amazing I felt I am on a really really good track that I am actually starting to love myself and I actually started to be in peace within me and I felt so empowered I felt I felt good even though I I I have things hard things to deal with but I I, I saw the light end of the tunnel right um, that's how I say it. But then I'm walking here. It's really hard to walk. Uh, now my walking boots is covered in mud. Um, but I was just thinking, the path I chose, it's like this path here. And yes, it, it, it is a, a beautiful path, self-love, right? Learning how to love yourself. It's just, it, it, it cannot be bad, right? But it's not just a beautiful thing, uh, process, or there's nothing is going to be painful. No, it's even more. Some, it's, at the beginning, it's going to be even worse than anything because you are, you are trying to work yourself through things that you suppressed before until now so the things coming up 
that you you didn't uh, want it to, to to deal with so now everything comes up everything is is on the surface now or at least I started bringing things up and it goes mud because it, it, it makes my path harder to walk right now the destination I don't know where it is taking me this path I don't know exactly I have something I imagined that how that must look like but prob probably it's gonna be something very different than I actually imagined and I guess this is fine so I think even something better going to come out of it but even there is two alternative parallel paths in one they're going to join again at some point one of them is a harder one of them easier to walk but not necessarily the easier going to be the best one right but it, it made me made me think and made me realize this path is like my self-love journey and the mud represents my negative thoughts my limiting beliefs and and making me making me go on my path slower because I fell back to to where I was before because I started to feel sad and uh, like I, I became anxious over things that are nothing and I know they are nothing but you can't help it right your mind, mind is going to be just like no you are not good enough you you're going to fail anyway might as well give up so this part has become I think my, my favorite because right now as well it's hard to walk on because I, I fall back maybe I I, I, fell, I fall on my bum and I get muddy and I can't get up straight away and I'm going to be on about a few days which I kind of was so but look what is behind me and and I think like even though I'm walking on my path and there are roadblocks or obstacles such as mud um, the universe as in the Sun now a source of life if 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 you like is behind me I feel like she is there and supporting me and and one <laughs> look the Sun is out this I can feel the sunshine I can feel its power and I feel like she's there for me and telling me that don't worry I'm right behind you and and I'm just there and I'm making me feel like like I'm not alone on the, in this and that's that's what I came up with um, <laughs> on my walk and just going out to nature like this um, I started to watch a rewired series on Gaia however I was uh, like half asleep yesterday but something has stayed with me um, why I, I fell back on or on after yeah, uh, last week last week was amazing I feel so good I felt so good and I know that I have to keep doing those things what I do but what I've learned there eh, because 95% of the time we are thinking the same thoughts what we had yesterday so basically we are living in the past and if you think about it that's true because I keep thinking about the same thing and mostly they are upsetting because I am living through something and then I think about it all the time repeating it so when I, re I, I when I when I make myself wanting to change my body says hang on a minute this is uncomfortable the changes you make I don't like I don't like it and so that's what is happening 
my body is starting to send signals to my brain that stop with stop with this bullshit because I don't like it this is new this is uncomfortable because you're doing things that uh, I'm not used to because our body wants to just uh, go on autopilot what you used to do how you used to feel and what I think most of the time it's negative and upset or sad or angry want to just uh, be be on the, on the bed on the sofa all day watching Netflix eat junk food because that's easy that doesn't require any work and uh, and that's that is happening with with our body because it's easier to just do nothing and it takes a lot of energy to get up, go for a walk and let your mind clear itself. And I do think still a lot negative thoughts, even right now. But I know that the only way of getting rid of it is to just the only way of getting rid of them is let them first to to be and and I I try not to think about them like why and how and when and anything I'm just I'm just walking and them think I let myself think but but not giving too much powers and emotions to them and I hope they're going to go away. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm in a process. I'm in a working process. And, well, right now as well, I just had the thought. I went through with it. Um, I'm not even sure if it makes any sense. But to me, To me it does and uh, I hope I will listen to this back. Um, I actually will feel that I could share it too. So um, maybe you can take some value out of it or just you say like, here we go again. Another metaphor. <laughs> so yeah, um, have a lovely day guys and peace and love.